Southwest Water do all of the testing of water to check that it's clean uh, when it leaves our taps. What we do is think about the future. As we've probably all heard, microplastics are a real issue that we humans have created. What we're trying to do here is work out where those microplastics come from and really importantly how we can take them out of the water cycle so that when Southwest Water treat the water to drink or our waste that we make sure we remove these plastics and they don't carry on causing problems in the environment. The way we use the far, uh, farmland in this country in a lot of places is quite intensively. We're trying to produce a lot of food in a small space and so one of the things we're doing in this centre is working out how you might carry on farming, being very productive in terms of your uh, food production but then also protect the rece receiving surface waters, stop pollutants entering our streams, rivers, lakes and reservoirs. The southwest is traditionally warmer, wetter and windier than the rest of the country, but climate change is impacting on our weather patterns. So we're finding that we're getting more periods of intense rain in the winter and more periods of drought in the summer. So for the uplands like Exmoor, Dartmoor, West Penwith and Bodmin Moor, it means that we have to work harder to keep more water in the uplands uh, through peatland restoration. We can see in any catchment, in any watershed, in any landscape that we work on, there's different sources for the different pollutants. Runoff from roads is a real issue. It's absolutely great that we've got a transport infrastructure in the UK, but it is a source of problems. For example, chemicals or metals that are, that are washed off the road into our streams and rivers that, of course, then have to be treated out of our water supply by the water company. Identifying that problem and then perhaps working with people like Highways England who manage that road infrastructure can prevent the problem right at the source rather than treating it at the end of the pipe where it is always more costly. Because when we're thinking about how you uh, stop pollution right at its source, we're in a situation where we're stopping that pollution forever.